Hello, everybody. Everybody here on my personal page. You guys may know me already, but just in case you don't, I am D. Lee Inspires, that lady that helps you publish your book in 24 hours or less. I'm also the founder and creator of Authors and Business Co., where we have a community of self-published authors from around the world helping each other thrive and reach as many people as possible. This evening, we are definitely going to um, showcase and feature, um, introduce to you one of our featured authors here at the Georgia Aquarium, the 2018 Authors in Business Tour, where we can be found in seven cities this year, okay? In seven cities this year. We're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia on the 24th in February. Also, Las Vegas, Nevada, Chicago, Illinois, Phoenix, Arizona, New York, New York, also the DMV area, and Houston, Texas. So, this is not just for authors, okay? However, we will be teaching you guys on how to transition from an author and into business because publishing is not enough. And also, this is really great for aspiring authors too as well. Um, those who are looking to publish your books so you can kind of skip the hurdles. My brother used to always tell me, a wise man learns from there are uh, other people's mistakes, but a fool learns from their own. And I tell you what, i rather, I feel okay <laughs> and very proud to make those mistakes so you don't have to. It's a great pleasure for me to serve each and every one of you. But these are also, the events are also for those individuals who uh, are avid readers. Hey, Tony, good to see you. Tony's joining us on tour. And if you're an AIB member, put in hashtag AIB Nation. Put in hashtag AIB Nation and let other people know that you are a published author and you have books available too as well to inspire the lives of others. But this is business, okay? That is business. That's right, Don. I can't wait to see you in New York, Houston, and also DMV area. <laughs> right, absolutely. I'm so super stoked about this whole thing. Okay, so look. The thing that a lot of publishers do not share with other authors, and sometimes authors, you know, a little hesitant or apprehensive of sharing with each other, is the business aspect. There's so many different avenues um, that you can definitely go with your business, okay? Um, let me give you an example. How to turn your live stream videos that you do your teachings from your book into actual movies. Um, Amazon.com has a platform now for creators, and I definitely wanna show you guys and bring you guys um, from that place in order for bringing more revenue in so that you can travel more and reach more people. Sometimes also too, hey, Shalandia, good to see you guys. Hold on one second, one second. One second, oh, okay. All right, I got my questions and everything together for Lakia, and she is on here saying AIB, AIB Nation. Okay, so uh, what I want to share with you guys is with the transition of having multiple streams of income, that's how I'm able to thrive. That's how my clients are able to thrive. That's how all of the authors are able to thrive. You have merchandise, you have products, you have speaking engagements, you have webinars and courses, but it goes way beyond that. You also have government contracts, yes. A lot of authors and publishers do not realize that you can really expand through government contracts too as well, okay? And so there's different things that you can definitely do and I wanna help you get there, seriously. I wanna help you get there every step of the way because I feel that you guys should have the same opportunity as any other big corporation. Even if you want to have corporate events or be a corporate speaker or have your event at a corporation, right? Because the last two years, we had a contract, a partnership with Microsoft Stores nationwide, and we were taking all of the authors everywhere around the United States nationwide. Some of our AIB members come from Canada, also the UK area, London, and Bermuda and the Bahamas too as well to join us on this tour and you guys can have that access right there in your fingertips, okay? If you're looking forward to getting published, make sure you reach out to me. We're gonna bring Lakia on and she is gonna share with us some different things about her book and also what she provides and services that she provides. One second, I know I'm like, oh, I tell you that. It really works, Lakia! Hey, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I couldn't 
wait to see you, girl. I thank swear. You, thank you. Okay, let me cut so up. So excited. Body. What's that? I said I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. You too. You make me miss my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I'm like, oh my gosh, should I keep it short or should I keep it long? But you look absolutely phenomenal. I Thank can't you. wait to hear more about your story up here in Atlanta, Georgia. So first, can you introduce yourself um, to our audience here on Facebook Live and also let them know where you're flying in from um, to the tour here in Atlanta, Georgia? Hi, everybody. I'm Lakia Guy. Thank you so much for inviting me in, Desiree. I'm so excited. Um, so I am a school teacher. I'm a fifth grade school teacher for the Norristown Area School District. I have about 180 students. You're asking, how can I do that? Well, it's quite easy. It's three in one day and three on another day. But I truly love what I do. I'm excited to be on the tour. I will be visiting uh, Atlanta, Georgia on February 24th. Um, which is next week. So I hope some of my family and friends can come join. I will also be in Las Vegas on March 24th. And then again in New York on June 23rd. So I'm really excited. I'm really pumped up, ready to get my books out and ready to meet new people. Absolutely. I'm so excited too as well to have you here on the tour. So tell them about the title of your book. Sure. Uh, here's the copy of my book. The title of my book is Charity's Big Dreams um, and is based on my family. You see my daughter Charity right here in the big book. Um, so I wrote the book because a lot of times students that are African American or students um, of color period are not shown and in, in, um, displayed in books. So I wanted books that can also represent um, children of color. So that's why I decided to create this children's book. It's about a little girl named Charity, of course, named after my daughter, um, who was wake, who woke up late one day for school. And it was a really important test that she needed to take. And in order to go on the school field trip to the uh, white uh, Washington, D.C., you know, she had to have good grades. So of course, you know, since she got to school late, she did not do well on the test. However, the teacher said, if you persevere, hard work and perseverance will help you be successful. And then she wound up being able to go on the trip with three of her other friends. So it's really exciting. And that's what I really like. You hit on a really good point here. And that brings me to this next question, um, Lakia, is this, mm -hmm. uh, as an author, and now you're in business, how are the parents receptive to having a children's book and the school system receptive to having a children's book that is of color? Okay, that's an amazing question. Actually, my first book, official book signing, was held at my uh, school, Eisenhower Science and Technology Leadership Academy in Norristown. And I sold over 75 books in my first week. Um, and the parents were very receptive. They were excited. They brought their children out to get the book signed. And it was just amazing. Um, and some of the students were like, hey, can you include me in your next book? I'm like, well, you got to ask your parents on that. But they were really, really <laughs> excited um, to see that their teacher actually created a book. And I know, oh, my gosh, I know that warmed your heart so much. Because sometimes when we have an idea and we start on that pursuit, sometimes, you know, doubt and uncertainty does come our way. So it was really mm -hmm. good that you were able to experience the reactions of the students, the parents, and also the teachers, too, as well, being supportive of mm -hmm. your book. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. So um, what I want to ask you is, in regards to being a children's author, because it is being, the market is being saturated with new published authors, right? Mm -hmm. But I see a rise of children's books, okay? So is there a tip that you can share with our audience um, that they can expect at the actual event here at the Georgia Aquarium um, to help them as a children's author to differentiate themselves amongst everyone else? Well, for me, starting off, even though I wrote so many books and just had one published, I found that making sure you find a quality illustrator 
is really key and important to making sure that your book is successful. Um, what I initially did is I held an art contest at my school um, mm -hmm. for students to be able to create the artwork. Um, so my classroom, the, they designed the school, um, my living room, my dining room. So making sure that the kids took part in that. Um, so if you are in a school system or if you have children in your community that are looking for things to do, I think it's really a key to involve students in your process. So for me, the biggest thing was getting the illustrations done, um, checking the sketches that the illustrator completed, and then um, uploading them into the book. So and it was I, a tedious totally process. Agree. Right. I totally agree. I think it's a very, very powerful thing to have the children to be involved. I promise you, when I published my first book, my daughter at seven years old, uh, she wanted to be involved too. And she felt confident enough to want to publish her book too as well. If you guys are tuning in right now, you are hearing from the featured author, Lakia Guy, who is going to be present at the Atlanta Georgia Aquarium on February the 24th. You'll get to meet her and also hear her tips on how to transition from an author who is in business. Her book will be available for sale. You will be able to invite her to your city. I think this is very, very important. As you guys can see, hold your book up, Lakia. We need to see the whole thing. It's a really, really awesome read. It's now available on Amazon.com. And you can get your physical copy at the uh, Georgia Aquarium here in Atlanta, Georgia on February the 24th. You'll be able to get your books autographed to your children. If you are a school teacher, this book is really perfect for your students, for you to introduce this book, this children's book, to your students too as well, and also your child. Um, it's really amazing that it's named after your daughter. Did you, did you do that because you wanted to um, not just involve her, but leave her a legacy? Yes, that is correct. I wanted to leave a legacy. Let me show you another page in the book that I thought was really, really fascinating. This is my family right here. Wow. This is my daughter, Charity. This is me. Of course, a skinnier version. Uh, my Don't husband, <laughs> my son, Tyrell, and my um, second child, Imani. Wow. Mm -hmm. that is so I wanted my family to be able to have something to look back on. I also wanted my children be able to give it to their grandchildren. Like their, your, your grandmother was a published author. And I think that's really important because there was a time where uh, people of color weren't, uh, were chastised for being able to read. And then mm -hmm. also to, um, especially in the spirit of Black History Month, be able to publish. And mm -hmm. now that this opportunity is available for people of color, I think that's the most best thing and seed plan for your legacy and for your yes. family to be involved in. I mean, that carries a lot of weight. Please do us a favor and invite at least five of your friends, guys. Give us some hearts and thumbs ups to make sure that our connection is great here and that you guys are definitely enjoying this broadcast. Absolutely. So, Lakia, uh, outside of the school system with your children's book, where do you see your book going? And who do you see it act, um, inspiring outside of your profession as a teacher and outside of the public school system? Well, I haven't just created children's books. I wrote 10 books all together. Um, it just so happens that the first one that was published was an actual um, children's book. But I've written um, six children's books as part of a series, as well as four adult books. One is coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, I'm yes. so excited. It's called Marriage Does Work, um, God's uh, Design for a Healthy Marriage. So it's uh, based on scriptures from King James Version, New International Version. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So it's not just um, books for children, but it's also books for women, books for um, couples, just to help strengthen relationships. Because a lot of times within the black community, we don't have strong relationships. So it's the right. build relationships as well as building up your communities. Right. Now, will individuals be able to pre-order your book at the event? Yes. Um, which book are you referring to? The marriage, the marriage. book? Mm -hmm. um, marriage actually, works. I will have that available as well as the children's book. Both of those will be available at the event next week. Absolutely. So you guys heard it first. 
Lakia, she is one of our featured authors. Um, this is definitely a tour that you definitely want to come into attendance. So it is children friendly. So if you do have children to meet Charity's mom in person, we yes. definitely invite you guys to come on um, through um, at the event here in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, guys? So we definitely want you guys to come to attendance to meet Charity's mom um, yes. of the book. I think it's just very, very important for them to actually see uh, the person behind the pen and also make sure that it's definitely re uh, relatable. Thank you so much, Patricia, Shalandia, everybody who is coming in here on the broadcast. Thank you guys so much for sharing and also Thank inviting you. your friends here. We don't want to give too much away. We don't want to give mm -hmm. too much away. But so yeah. much is going to happen at this event. It is exclusive. There is a um, limitation on the number of people that can come into attendance. So you definitely want to make sure that you get your tickets like yesterday okay <laughs> make sure you get your tickets okay. like right now absolutely yes. uh to meet lakia guy um also can you tell them where they can contact you if they want to invite you to their city and especially if you're in atlanta georgia while she's here in town while she's here in town and you would like for her to come speak to your young um your group of young people at your church or your local community here in atlanta georgia we definitely encourage you guys to invite her out to um to your venue too as well so where can they follow you um also keep up with the series too as well and connect with you sure um all of my social media handles are at author lakia guys so you can find me on facebook you can find me on periscope you can find me on instagram twitter i'm all over the place if you want to reach out to me to have me come to your school to do an author reading, a book signing, whatever the case may be, I'm available, I'm excited, and I can't wait to meet you. Okay. Well, you guys heard it first here, okay? So you can definitely connect with her on all social media platforms, author, Lakia Guy. Do any of you guys have any questions for uh, Lakia while she's on here? And if you are watching this via replay, we encourage you guys to leave your questions here in the comment box too as well, okay? And let us know. And we're going to stay on just a few um, moments here to wait for the comments to go up to make sure that we are paying attention to all of the individuals who are watching us here on, on this yeah. broadcast. Absolutely. Is there anything, um, lastly, that you want to provide or what they can take away um, from you to come at this event? Um, I do have a shout out that I would like to give. Um, I want to thank Tabernacle Harvest Church for allowing me to have my book signed in there. I love my pastors, Pastor Brian and Crystal Weatherspoon. Thank you so much for allowing me to have my uh, second um, book signing. Um, but the thing that I would like to encourage people to do is to come out to any of the cities um, that we are featuring, Chicago, uh, uh, Atlanta, um, New York, Vegas, wherever we're having our tour, we would love for you to come join us, not just to purchase my books, which is nice, but to purchase everyone's book. We all have a story to share. We would all like to share it with you. Absolutely. I mean, I couldn't have said it better. We have uh, a question here from Don Peterson. Um, okay. She said, she asked, uh, were there any challenges with writing your children's book? That's a really good question. That is an amazing question. For me, there were no challenges for actually writing the book um, because I teach social studies. So the books are based on historical context. Um, so I didn't find any challenges writing. What I found challenging was publishing and trying to upload everything on the publishing platform as well as the illustrations. The book was completed in over the summer. Um, I met Desiree in October. Um, she kind of like pushed me, lit a little fire under me to um, help me promote and to publish my book. But the thing that took the longest, um, w which was the longest process was the illustrations. Right. So from October to January, just for the illustrations. Absolutely, absolutely. And like you mentioned in the beginning of this broadcast, um, to make sure that's like the most important thing with the children's book, correct? To make sure you have some really good illustrations, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
So uh, was D, D Lee, your coach? Yes, I was yes. coach with the publishing process. Yes. And she is an AIB member, AIB expert Woo! to be exact. And so she's one of our top priority members um, that we take pleasure in serving. So I want to say, give a shout out. I want to do a shout out, Lakia. Okay. I want to shout out Lakia Guy, author Lakia Guy. Um, and thank you so much for allowing us to be able to serve you and be a part of your journey. I mean, this is amazing. Thank this you. is absolutely amazing. Thank we you. have another question from Dr. Desiree Andrews from Florida. She says, mm -hmm. what about the illustrations? Were there challenges with that? I think she kind of answered that question. That there I, were... could go on. I do have a little more to say about sure. the illustrations. Sure. So although I had in mind what I wanted the illustrations to look like, as well as what I wanted the characters to look like, um, since I was dealing with um, someone who wasn't African American, it was mm -hmm. kind of hard for him to um, really get the color combinations correct um, mm -hmm. as far as like the skin tone and mm -hmm. things of that nature. Um, so that that was a process that was really challenging. Um, a lot of times illustration, il oh, I'm sorry, illustrators want to come up with their own ideas on how the book should be. So mm -hmm. it wasn't a challenge. But we did go back and forth a few times about, you know, how I wanted things. Right. And so what I want you to share, what would, I would like you, for you guys to share when you guys come in attendance here in Atlanta, Georgia, at the Georgia Aquarium, that you'll get an opportunity to not only meet Lakia. This is a networking event. This is a book signing. This is an experience. It absolutely is. And we definitely want to help you guys transition from author to business and so what i don't want her to give away here on this broadcast but i do want her to be able to share with you guys at the event at georgia query is how to translate that how to translate that over um how to speak to the illustrators too as well to make sure that your process is that much easier because again like i said in the beginning you see, a wise man learns from other people's mistakes, okay? But the fool learns from their own. And I mm -hmm. promise you, in our pursuit of helping um, helping other individuals and sharing our passions and inspiring you guys to do the same, if not more, uh, we definitely want to give you guys some actionable tools so it won't be as hard for the next person. And that's what Authors in Business is about. No author left behind. No author yes. left behind. So thank yeah. you again, Lakia, for joining us. And thank we will you. see you in Atlanta. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you guys enjoy that or what? Okay. Did you guys enjoy that or what? I mean, oftentimes people, authors, we are not willing, some authors are not willing to share those, uh, some hiccups, the wins. The, the excitement too as well with you but here in the 2018 authors and business tour we're going to be in seven cities where you'll be able to get firsthand these tips this is not a conference but at the same time we want to make sure that we build networking um collaborations we also want you to thrive you can ask your questions you can get the help that you need you can get the resources that you need and also have an awesome experience now it's not just any venue, okay? It's not just any venue, okay? So we have catered dining too as well, entertainment, and also keynote speakers. Um, so the countdown has begun. We are literally 11 days away from the most biggest author event here in Atlanta, Georgia. It is exclusive. It is exclusive. So you definitely want to get your tickets so you do not hear about later or get lost in the sauce. Okay, so you definitely want to make sure you jump on that. Thank you guys so much for your interaction. Thank you guys for your questions. Thank you guys for just allowing um, Lakia to be able to share her experiences with you. And don't forget, Charity's big dream is our big dream, okay? So I love you guys. Thank you for joining this evening. I'm your host, Dee Lee Inspires, founder and creator of Authors and Business Co. And I cannot wait to see you guys here in Atlanta, Georgia, February the 24th.